Hi, I'm Betsy Brown. You're on the 3R Ranch uh, south of Beulah, Colorado, in the foothills of the Wet Mountains. If you look at our adjoining properties, we do not have a legitimate rancher neighbor. And this was totally untrue when we came here in 1981. Now their non-functional ranches are just 40-acre development around us. And there's no way that in the arid west that 40 acres can be sound. You cannot take care of 40 acres of grass. So on 11,000 acres or other increments, you can move the cows, you can fence, you can herd. It gives you the opportunity to make the place better by the grass being rested and grazed and rested and grazed. Conservation easements are a terrific tool for voluntary land conservation for ranching families that are interested in preserving the land base, the agricultural land base, and the ranching way of life. In this part of the world, anyway, 17 years ago, or whenever Dan started with Colorado Open Lands, it was a totally new idea. That's, that was our only way to try to protect it for the future and uh, keep the ranch whole. There are just fewer and fewer real ranches anymore, and we wanted to see it stay a whole ranch. Dan was, uh, he was just easy to work with. He was very relaxed, very uh, uh, approachable. The qualities that, that Dan has that, that makes him a great leader, he empowers the people around him to work to the greatest of their potential. There's an expression in Wyoming and around the West that leaders ride the longest loop. They're out in the morning before everybody else. They're not home until the last person's in. That's Dan. His legacy has to be the, the number of acres that he has saved by having conservation easements put on them over the state of Colorado. So we're at Trinchero Ranch, which is an 81,000 acre uh, conservation easement on the west side of San Luis Valley. In 2004, it was the largest conservation easement in the country. It contains multiple watersheds, abundant wildlife diversity, three 14,000 foot peaks, and a, a rich uh, history, both Spanish and gringo on the property. I first saw the ranch in July and we closed it December 1st. It was a deadline to type deal to get done. We're in a battle for every piece of private land in the Front Range. It's either going to be developed or preserved. The next million people are moving here and um, they need places to live and, and you can see the pushing of that ex-urban fringe out into the farmland. This is an interesting business. Uh, it's really a rewarding business because what you're doing is forever. And so you really do have an opportunity, I think, to leave a legacy. But you've got to be humble about that because the only, the only reason you have a legacy to leave is that others left it for you. And you're really just leaving your legacy for, for the next generation to steward.